All right, hello everyone. Uh, I had people request that I actually show that uh, I have a Samsung Q80 2020 television. This is the 55 inch version, um, running in 4K 120 hertz with HDR and uh, VRR, which is variable refresh rate. Um, in this case, uh, it's called G-Sync compatible, which is FreeSync Ultimate. <laughs> Really, in, really, really easy to understand, right? Um, but if you know what all those terms mean, this video will be uh, helpful for you. Okay, so first things first, I want to actually show you, you can tell on your Samsung television, at least the recent ones, you can go into the e-manual here, and once it loads, we'll go into the guide, and I'm going to go down to precautions and notes. And there's a section here for supported resolutions for UHD input signals. So this actually brings up uh, the tables and charts of supported resolutions on this display. Um, and I imagine they can update this with firmware updates as well. So what you see in a printed manual or PDF may be out of date. Um, but this is with, oh shoot, I forget what version I'm on. Uh, I'll pull that up later. Um, but I recently updated, I think, with the late September version of the firmware that's available for this television. So uh, let's, so if, in, if input signal plus is off, uh, which is not what we're gonna test here, we're gonna look for input signal plus set to on, and you can see that all models um, and the Q60T, this, actually this table here isn't relevant to this television. Um, the Q80 series, that's the 49 inch, does just have a 60 hertz panel. But for 55 inch or larger, models, this is the table we care about. So we can see here on the left hand side, 120 hertz is supported along with, uh, frankly, I don't know what any of these numbers mean, <laughs> but hopefully it means something to somebody. Um, and I'll try doing the 444 test because I've had people ask me, um, but this is in full HD or, or full UHD um, 4K. 1380 40 by 2160p. So, now that the TV itself says that it can do it, let's prove it. So, I actually have it in 4K with FreeSync at 120 hertz with HDR enabled. Um, and to enable HDR, you have to go into the Windows settings, um, and then under System, Display, there is a switch for Play HDR Games and Apps. You'll want to flip that on. Okay, and just to confirm before we do, oh, okay, let's also go into the NVIDIA control panel here. Oh, and I'll zoom in here as well. Hopefully this makes it a little easier to read. Let's see, I have an RTX 3080 in here. Where is our NVIDIA control panel? Oh, it's all the way up here, okay. So here we go. I am on driver 456.71, and it is what October 25th, 2020. And we'll see under here where we say set up G-Sync. So I've enabled G-Sync for windowed and full screen mode, and I've selected enable settings for selected display model, even though it's yelling at me and saying it's not validated as G-Sync compatible. But as you can see, when we look at the status on the TV, it does say FreeSync VRR at 120 hertz. <clears throat> and if I go to resolution here, we do see 120 hertz selected at full 4K 3840 2160. So all good things, right? Okay, so let's actually start a game. to install anything. Okay, here we are. So this is Doom Eternal. I just started the game. So let's actually skip this cutscene. Okay, I'm not sure how visible this is or how clear this is going to come through. Um, I do have the stats there at the top right, and if they're not readable, I'll bring the camera a little closer. Um, but hopefully, at least with YouTube 60 FPS, you can see that this is pretty darn smooth. Um, and I'll move the camera a little closer and I'll show you that we are running at 4K uh, and 120 FPS is what we're locked at right now. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't done anything to open any of these doors yet, so I actually have to go and do a mission. Um, now, of course, this is just the staging area um, for all your other missions in the game, so it runs quite well. Um, I found that most missions I'm running around 90 frames a second uh, at full 4K. Um, and this said, what, ultra settings? We can go and look at those. Make sure I got that right. Uh, most things on high. Oh, okay, nope, we're on high for most things. Ultra for shadow quality. And I have a target FPS of 100, so it will scale the resolution as needed. Um, but yeah, so I hope this is enough to at least get you comfortable with um, that this television is uh, capable of doing 4K 120 hertz. Um, I've had no real issues with it as long as I turn my computer on first. Um, nope, sorry, if I have the television on first. That's the important thing. Turn the TV on first, and then the computer, and um, I've had no issues with signal. Um, I do seem to get issues if I turn the computer on and then turn the TV on afterwards for whatever reason. Um, not exactly ideal, but hey, um, I can handle it if it means that it's stable otherwise. So that's that, and I guess actually, just so you know, I'm not lying. Let's uh, pick up a camera and we'll see if we can move it towards the stat counter there. And yeah, you can see 120 frames a second, um, full 4K with HDR on 3080 with the driver. Um, so yeah, uh, I think things look pretty good, and I'm happy with this purchase. Uh, I just wish that it had more than a single HDMI 2.1 port, but you know, we can't have everything unless we pay for it, right? So there we go.